So a question I've been getting a lot is how do I connect my Bluetti or EcoFlow Delta Pro to a load center or a circuit breaker panel in my RV or cabin? So today we're gonna learn how to connect these AC output receptacles to a load center with a single cable. Instead of having tons of cables like extension cords connected to these outlets, you just have a single cable going from the 30 amp plug out to a load center or a circuit breaker panel. Now the EcoFlow Delta Pro and the Blue Eddies all have this plug, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can max out the output. So we need to talk about this first. This model right here has a 3000 watt inverter. If you divide that by 120 volts, you get 25 amps, but this is a 30 amp plug. So your limit when using this plug is going to be 25 amps, even though it says 30 amps up here. Now the AC 500 by Blue Eddy can output 5,000 watts. And if you divide that by 120 volts, you get 41 amps. So the cable that we're going to feed to this outlet needs to be able to supply 30 amps no matter what. And we shouldn't run any loads that exceed 30 amps continuous. Now the EcoFlow Delta Pro can output 3,600 watts. And if you divide that by 120 volts, you get exactly 30 amps. So for that, it's perfect. You don't have to think about it. You can plug a 30 amp plug in there and you're good to go. Now when we pull power from this outlet, we need to have a conductor that can carry the current safely. So to do that, we're gonna use a 30 amp rated RV cord. This has a cable that's thick enough to carry the current that this can provide. And these are easy to find. I actually picked this up at Walmart this morning. You just need to ensure that it looks like this and it's rated for 30 amps. And this actually plugs right into the unit. But realize that it sticks down and you don't want to bend this cord that much. So ensure that your batteries are stacked in a way so this is not being stressed. Now what we want to do is connect the other end of this to a load center. But how are we going to do that? So pretty much we're going to do this. This is a small load center that I use in my garage. This is connected to a NEMA 1450 for 240 volts. So we're going to remove this cable and add our 30 amp plug right here. And if you need 240 volts, you can copy this configuration. We have one hot going right here, second hot going right here, a neutral, and then a ground. We're going to keep the grounds and the neutral separate because we're going to treat it like a sub panel. And that's because the ground neutral bond should be handled by the solar generator. It can differ depending on what model and what configuration they're used in and whether they're connected to the grid. So let the solar generator be responsible for that and keep your grounds and neutral separate in your load center. Now one difference is this is a 240 volt load center, but we're going to feed it with 100 20 volts so we're not going to use one of the bus bars technically you can short out these two bus bars and use the whole load center as a 120 volt panel but that's not recommended so we're just going to use a single bus bar the neutral bar and the ground and i'll show you how that's done let's get started Now first we want to measure and cut this cable but leave some excess because you're going to have to run these wires inside of this box and you're probably going to need more than what you think. Now we need to strip this cable. If we're using only one bus bar we can actually feed it from this side of the load center. If you nick the wires you need to start over again. Do not make that mistake. So now the cable's secure and we need to connect these conductors to the bus bar, neutral, and ground. So this black is gonna go to the bus bar, the white will go to the neutral bus, and the green will go to the grounding bus. Now we can connect some circuit breakers to the bus bar that we have powered by this hot lead over here. Now let's use some Romex and connect the load to this 20 amp breaker. Now to demonstrate that this works, we're going to take some Romex in a receptacle and connect it to the 20 amp circuit breaker. But this is only temporary and I don't want you guys copying what I'm about to do. Now like I mentioned earlier, you can short out these two bus bars, but I'm not recommending that but it will make this whole load center capable of outputting 120 volts. But because we only have one bus bar alive, we can only have these circuit breakers. 
Now we can replace the cover. You should watch some videos on the code on how to mount these properly, especially if it's going into a cabin. And how easy was that? Now we can plug this into any of these solar generators and run some loads. Now this one doesn't have a battery, so let's go to the other side of the shop and test this thing out. Now with large plugs like this, I like to turn the inverter off so I don't accidentally shock myself by touching the sides. So make sure that the inverter is off. Now we can turn it on. We should have power. And look at that. We are pulling 1500 watts from the 30 amp plug. We could run three of these with this AC500, which is pretty incredible. Now let's try it on the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Now let's turn on the inverter and look at that. It works. Not that hard. I'm pretty sure most people could do this. Now this panel, these circuit breakers, and this Romex can all be found at Home Depot. And this can be found at Walmart, RV World, or Amazon.com. So very easy to find parts that you can build at any time. Now another way you could configure this system is instead of supplying the bus bars, you could actually have a 30 amp breaker and have the supply connected to that breaker. So instead of connected to the bus bar, the hot from this cable can be connected to the circuit breaker instead. Especially if this inverter can output 41 amps, but you're only using a 30 amp plug. Connecting to a 30 amp circuit breaker is very smart. Just make sure that the grounds and the neutrals are separate or this is treated as a sub panel. And that's pretty much it. So very simple tutorial and I hope you guys like it. I will see you in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye.